everybody welcome to the Geek Lab and the wobbly tea <laughs> signifies that I've literally just put it down in preparation for this video because it's not often I put a cup of tea down but anyway yes today we're going to do our one and possibly only gameplay video for the Amstrad uh, GX 4000 and that is burning rubber I can't show you the case because I don't have one. This is the impact game that came with the system. Now, I know that people find this system controversial and they're going to want to talk about it. So, if possible, if you leave comments on this video, please make them about the game more than the system. There will be a system review up uh, where you have a chance to comment on the system as you wish. But for now, it's going to be the game. So. Let's slam this in, fire it up, and play it badly so you can see what it looks like. Oh no, that belongs to somebody else. Damn you, Benway! Damn you! Alright, and there she is, fired up. Now, you may notice at the moment there are maybe some reflections on the screen. That is not going to be around for long. They are there for a reason, and I'm going to show you the reason why, because something unusual about this game. Now, Burning Rubber, yes, uh, 1990 Ocean Software on the Amstrad GX 4000. So, let's uh, play the game. Now, the first and most important thing to do when playing this game is not press 1 to fire. Oh, sorry, not press 1 to start. You need to press 2 for options because you will need to do that. Uh, press 1 to set controls. Now, this is the reason the light's on, so you can see the controller. Now by default, accelerator is the up arrow, the up on the D-pad. But if you do this, your thumb is very quickly going to die horribly of death and pain. So what I suggest is this. Right. If you press a key, right, it's asking for a key for down gear, so press the down arrow, press a key for up gear, that one, press a key for accelerate, this is the important one. I suggest having A and B for the brake, and then obviously left and right. And that's your set up to start. So, I shall switch the lights off and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back with a nice black screen. So, let's start it. Burning Rubber is your typical racer along the lines of, uh, oh, what you call it? Oh, I have completely forgotten now. Oh, what a tit. I am a tit. Yeah, outrun and stuff like that. Where, oh, poop. Well, I'm not to win on this one. Where you are racing against others, against the time, in different sceneries. Uh, as you all have noticed already, uh, <laughs> the crashes on this are quite amazing. You flip for ages. Um, just in case you forgot that you got an Amstrad, uh, yeah, there's plenty of Amstrad signs around. Touching other vehicles obviously make you flip as well. Now. My biggest criticism of this is the steering, it's rather numb. You've got to be... You've got to steer way before uh, you want to turn, because it takes a while to react. Which is a bit weird, but there we go. And it's one of the few games where you will have to use accelerator and brake. Oh, look at that! Yes! It's the world's biggest crash, and people are definitely, definitely not going to survive that one. Now. I suppose it doesn't really matter too much where you qualify on this one. We tied to the pits. Ha! Uh, prepare to qualify. Okay, let's do this one a bit more seriously. As long as you're getting somewhere on the qualification, uh, it doesn't really matter too much where you qualify because it just puts you behind some cars which you can usually, usually disperse pretty quickly. Uh, the qualification is... Well, the cars that appear are pretty random, so... It's, there's a lot of pot luck involved in qualification in this game. Uh, ooh. Yeah, you are going to have to take care in the corners on this game. It is 
Merciless. Sound of the engine is uh, probably the biggest letdown of the game. But you know, compared to all the games of the period, it's it's pretty average. And he hits another car. Oh, I got away with a minus spin. And where's he got away with an engine fire? Yay! And graphics. Graphics on this are you know, representative of their time. There's nothing bad, there's nothing special either. And here we go. You have qualified. Yay for ninth position. I think that the lowest I've been uh, myself is uh, eighth. <laughs> and the lowest I've seen on other videos is six. So here we go into the main race and we just got a couple of cars to uh, negotiate. They usually pull away anyway. So it's no biggie. Funny thing is, I've never seen the option to go manual on this. Manual, manual drives. Probably in the option somewhere, but. Oh, he's pooped! And yeah, nobody's ever going to survive that kind of crash. <laughs> but apparently we do. We have the world's most advanced anti gravity systems in the air. Yes, this car must have anti gravity chamber because, yeah, the G forces in a crash like that would be pretty unsurvivable. Even Hamster wouldn't survive. Top Gear reference in case anybody didn't realise. And we have some pictures of some people which are quite distracting. Because I'm always trying to work out who they are. And it doesn't tell you. So what we'll do, we'll uh, race around a bit. I don't know what that noise was. No idea. Uh, yeah, smiley faces. You can tell this is 1990. It's your acid trip from the rave scene. See? Who says culture and uh, video games don't mix? A bit of drug abuse there on a video game. And we've got an extended play here. And oh, 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 oh. now, believe it or not, I have done pretty well on this in the past. Uh, been a few weeks since I played it, so I don't think that's going to happen today. It does. Uh, you do switch pretty quick between night and day in these uh, in this game, so. Oh crap, I'm out. Distracted by the acid signs, I'll just blame the acid signs. It's their fault, it's not mine, I take no responsibility for my own actions. I know a person like that in my life. Anyway, there's some strange people again, I have no idea who they are. They probably are somebody uh, involved in the game. If you know, let me know please, drop a comment. Uh, yeah, it does switch between night and day, so you may see it go dark. It doesn't go too dark. Uh, it is a three-dimensional landscape, so you do have up and down, and uh, you will also get tunnels. Now, I was fully on the brake there, and it still went into the tyres, which is just weird. Uh, also to note, in this game you have... Oh, eight. Oh, yeah, you, go. you have no option to change cars. You're stuck with this thing whether you like it or not. I find it very difficult in the uh, tunnels here to keep away from the walls, especially later on. But that might just be my rubbish driving. So you've got a count down there. Three, two... Okay, it's spinning out. Three, two, one. And what's it counting down to? I have no idea because the obstacle's already... Oh no, it's another little corner, I suppose. Yeah. Ignore me. I talk crap. Anywho, we are still racing here on the uh, the big circuit here on the Amstrad uh, Burning Rubber Racing Track. Uh, fully on the brakes there. Oh, three out. Ha 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 ha. You're even shitter than me. You're even shitter than me. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho What if I want to have a wee while well, I'm in this car? I can't go anywhere and have a wee. Oh, shut there. There we go, we're in the wall, get off the wall. Well, I spend so much time on the walls in this game, I may as well bring a paintbrush and paint the buggers! Because I can't get off them. Why are they just randomly burning out in front of me? What is going on? Uh, my fart doesn't smell, oh that was good. My fart doesn't smell so bad that all the cars in front of me just randomly burn out. Unless you've got Volkswagen gearboxes, uh, they probably just burn out at random anyway, because, yeah. 
Is that rant time? Am I turning into Mr. Benway again? Having a rant? Well, why not have a rant? Getting older. Have a rant! Brah. Oh wait, red road here. Um, don't know why it's red. And I don't know why there's so many tunnels. And I don't know why I play so badly. Oh my god! Alright, come on! Let's get this game going! Oh! I also ended him. <sighs> Any harder, I'd made him pregnant. <laughs> I think I might be losing this one. Yeah, the controller on the Amstrad isn't the D-pad. Edges of the D-pad aren't the softest in the world, so they do have a uh, notable effect on pain uh, <laughs> going through your body. So you're best using the uh, your nails to control them. So there you go. I'm glad that's up actually because unless you wanted to go for the whole race, there's not that much more to show. Pretty much more of the same. But it is a good game if once you get control of your steering. And then at the end you get a, uh, a review of how far you got or didn't get. Oh, you teaser. I have been halfway through lap two, so there we go. That is the limits of my abilities, and that is the game. Overall, uh, yes, you're going to have to put up with the controls, which will give you pain, uh, the slow steering, but if you can go overcome them, this is a fun game. And, uh, yes, the world's biggest crashes. So, oh, and I forgot, the great music. So, there you go, a great game on the Mstrad GX4000, and a great introduction for me to this wonderful little system. So, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, go watch some more videos, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. It helps me to make more of this insanity. Join me on Facebook and Twitter, and uh, yes, have a good day, and thank you. Can't see me, but thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, bunny, 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 yeah, evil monster. <laughs> Thank you for that much. <laughs> you need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>